Okay, so I'm just going to move your head a little bit each direction. We want to see how easily it's able to move. Okay. So, and okay, so it moved a little bit over to the left, and now I can't get it to go back to the middle. So that's definitely going to cause some stress. And then does it turn? No. And go forward and back? No. So it's, it's kind of stuck unless you unstuck it, which you just did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so... Um, hey everyone, I'm Kara, and today we have Joanne, and uh, she is hoping that we can help with some neck pain that she's been having. So you want to tell us about what, what's been going on? I took a sewing machine, a portable sewing machine, and swung it onto a table. And um, since then, I pulled something in my neck that's permeating down to my shoulders. So the other thing that has been, happened in the past is, that seems to be related, is she had a little incident when she was swimming when she was a lot younger. You want to tell us what that was? Sure. Um, when I was 10, I was taking swimming lessons and we were learning to dive and I had my hands out in front of my face. I think I had them too low. And so when I dove into the pool, I hit the front of my head on the pool oh. bottom. <laughs> and so um, I spent probably a couple months uh, taking, I think, they were relaxing, you know, oh, I don't like even know what relaxers. muscle relaxers and pain pills and wrapping my neck. Yeah. Okay, so definitely her, the movement in her head and her neck is really kind of jammed. Um, and she doesn't have anything in her past else that relates to the shoulders, the neck. And uh, I looked at a couple things before um, we started this to see if they're a factor and they don't seem to be. So we're going to do something really interesting today and dig into um, decompressing and uh, re-sinking, resetting how all the neck muscles and shoulder muscles work, how they would have been um, jammed and stuck with the um, dive swimming uh, accident. So uh, I'm Kara Lindell and I'm the founder of the Bridging Institute, the Bridging Technique. Um, we're looking at balance and coordination and we're looking at the symmetry and flow of how all these little micro movements in your body uh, happen and um, we use little wiggles and stretches to reset them and that's what the technique is. So that lets your pain um, go away because you move better. Um, so we're going to put you up. Let's just check one other thing while you're sitting up so we know how your core is or isn't. How Okay, so your core shifts to the left too and not really back to the right. And does it turn? That's all right. And then forward and back. And so just general movement in your core is, is not too bad. Um, and let's just do a quick check with a couple of shoulder things because the shoulders look, so they come up and down and then just let me, they actually lift to the side pretty easily and then do they turn? I don't think what's going on is actually a shoulder issue. So um, what many of you may not realize is the nerves that come down the arms actually branch out in the lower part of the neck. So the way you describe that diving injury would have compressed that whole area. And yes, it's quite a few years later, but if it's still compressed um, and gravity has been adding more compression to it, it, that may be what's bothering you right now. So, okay, I want you to go on your stomach and you're just going to rest your head here comfortably and um, just at an angle, and if, if anything gets uncomfortable, let me know. But we're gonna see what, what moves, what doesn't. You want me to put my head down, take my glasses yeah, off? Yeah, take okay. them um, right over here. And um, so the reason I'm putting her upside down is, one, we can let gravity help us decompress, but two, gonna give it down here a little bit. Um, but two, what, um, this gives us freedom of movement, but it's very supported. So her, hopefully it's not stressed. So I'm going to just, keep, where does her head want to be? This uh, Because the ball rolls and it's got some give to it. It's a little bit on the soft side. So her head, like I was wondering if it wants to spin or shift off to the side, and it really doesn't. Um, it's actually kind of right in the, the middle. So I want to see, does her shoulder move um, a little bit with the left not at all to the right. So there's actually some rotation that's through this upper part of her back and then into her neck. So again, I'm not trying to free up her neck. I'm trying to get movement around it so that it can decompress and um, have more space. 
So I'm actually just literally moving her shoulder. I'm going to use her elbow um, a little bit so her arm is more like a handle. And we're just gently rocking back and forth. And um, one of my favorite sayings is you can open a jar two different ways. You can turn the um, lid or you can turn the jar. And so what I'm doing right now is more like turning the jar to help get the movement reset and opened up. Um, so we've got some left side movement happening. And so you would have picked up the sewing machine with your right hand, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's where it, where it hurts in my neck is on the right side. So I think something probably twisted. So I'm going to reach around and I'm going to try to get both of them. And uh, so the sensation I have with this is uh, an implement that uh, most urban folks don't know anything about. It's like a post hole digger. Do you know what one of those was? Yeah. Um, it's this long handle or long stick with the blades at the bottom that you use to dig out holes, but the, it has a big handle at the top. And so it's like I'm using the handle at the top to turn the whole long middle. And just about, there we go. Because if there's compression from the head into the spine, you don't know where in the whole length of the spine that it's actually stuck. Um, because the force is just going to keep, oh my gosh, that just all like stretched out and up. Could you tell that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I know you can't really talk too well like that. So, okay, so I'm going to just, whoops, gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to hold your forehead now, and I'm going to get rid of this so that you can breathe a little bit better. So drop your head. So now I want to see where does your head just naturally go to. And it does go a little bit to the left. So I'm going to hold in the, I'm still just holding your head still and moving, letting your back move. So again, the whole idea of opening the jar from the jar. And as the, you're getting more movement through the upper part of your back. Your head is starting to move better. And there. Okay, so it goes both ways. Any of that feel not so good? No, I, I just, you know, I, there's such a permanent ache in that neck and down towards the shoulder that it's yeah. just... Okay, so now that it, it it's able to move back, it actually feels like... The muscles between the back and the front have no idea how to work together. So I'm just going to gently hold and support the front and the back so that they can just kind of make friends again. And there's back and then there's forward. So now the glide is much easier. And let's see about a turn. There we go. Is that okay or is that hurt? No, it. I can feel it when we turn to the... You know, when my jaw turns to the right. Okay, so the left seems to be the way that it turns more easily. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat that a couple more times because three seems to always be the magic number. <laughs> so again, I'm so what I'm doing with this hand is supporting and just adding a little movement to the whole area. And then her head moves, and we're gonna do that one more time. So it's the whole length, how the muscles through the upper back, le um, the neck, and then back through the head. Yes, we do have little tiny muscles in the head. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to just see yeah, how it goes from, from the other side, or no? No, I want to see. We're going to test. So there's to the right, there's to the left. So from my perspective, it moves pretty easily both. How does it feel? It you know, it feels like it's moving easily. It's just, like I said, it's pretty sore. So the soreness is going to take a couple of days to go away because it's been jammed up for more years than we want to count, <laughs> uh, but a lot. And so now that it's open, it will feel sore because those muscles are going to work a little differently um, than what they've been used to. Uh, but then they should fall right back in line to what they originally did way, way, way back when. There. Okay, so now there's the sideways movement. And what's interesting is the right felt like a, like a fishbone, like it had to flare apart. Um, and then just I'm going to hold both sides, and we're just going to go back and forth because, the, again, the right and left have to 
reset how they reciprocally work together. One side gets longer, one side gets shorter, and then they switch. And again, I'm not trying to force anything. I am just holding and guiding and following which way the movement does go. There, and it feels like your neck is telescoping out. And then just a little gentle movement to the whole area. And there. Okay, it actually feels pretty nice. So bring it on back. And <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoops. You want me to just slide back or you want me to get up? Um, tell you what, let me get your glasses. Why don't you um, sit, sit back up where we started. There's one thing I'm going to check after we're uh, we're off the camera. <laughs> so, um, a lot of you always see me at the end pulling arms and legs to make sure everything is centered. I'll do that after uh, before she goes home, but after we're we're finished here. So, okay, we'll get some hair straightened back out. Gotta look good. Um, okay, so let's recheck what we originally did. So her head does move back and forth. It's just a little bit, but it's better than none, and it didn't get stuck. And she turns, oh my gosh, that is so much easier. It's not quite centered, so I'm gonna come back to that. And then can I easily tip forward and back? Again, it's just a little bit, but um, it's more than what, what was going on before. Um, scoots over to your left just a little bit because I think you're okay. yeah, yeah. caught, but a little crooked. There we go. And, there. Okay, so let's get the uh, left and right centered. Again, I'm just holding and letting the muscles on each side, giving them support so they can re-set um, how they're working together. And there. And then we go back and forth and let them practice. And then I'm going to recheck how your arms are working with everything. Okay. So this is rotation. So looking at how do we rotate left and then right. I didn't mention that the dog, when we had Coco, hit me in the jaw once. <laughs> ah, remembered something else. <laughs> Everybody does. Okay, there. Okay, and I was holding more at the jaw when that last time, so that uh, was definitely a little piece of it. So um, probably just an accumulation of various little things over the years. Um, there. It feels a lot better. That's much better. Yeah. And then back and forth. Okay, the Pez dispenser works. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna come around to the front and I just wanna check real quick. I did not do it this way to start with, but I just wanna make sure that arms link up to your neck very nicely and then lift easily and telescope in and out. Yeah, okay, all very good. So, um, let's just recap for everybody. Joanne had pain in her neck and down her arm that was aggravated or set off when she lifted something that was a little heavy. But she has a history of a couple of things that have happened um, going back in time to when she was a kid, dove in and hit the pool. So what we did was kind of go back to the scene and reconstruct um, and support all the relationships that would have gotten compressed and um, stuck and how the force would have gone through her head, neck, and into the rest of her core down her spine, use a little bit of movement um, guided and supported to let that decompress, unpack, and then um, from there, guide and support and um, reset how the muscles should be working together. They knew how to, they just haven't been able to because they got jammed. Um, so hopefully in a couple of days, it'll feel a lot better. It's moving better now, but I do think you're going to have a little achiness uh, for a couple of days as it's uh, everything's all getting used to working together. Um, love to have you come back again another time. We can check in on that and see if there's just a little bit more to it. Okay. Um, and chances are you may remember one other thing besides the, what the dog <laughs> did. Um, so we can, can see how that's going on. So uh, if you like this episode, something a real, little, little different from the norm, um, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, so you can get more episodes like this. If you're interested in being a guest, the info is in the show notes. Uh, scroll down for that. Um, we do teach the bridging technique. Uh, workshops are coming up, and uh, 
you're always welcome to make an appointment. Come to the office and I have things checked out for yourself. So thanks for watching and thank you for being here. Thank you.